Here is the continuation of the ductus deferens. You can see where it's going. It's going to the posterior side of the urinary bladder, which is right over here, passing medially by the ureter, which is right over here. And you can follow the ductus deferens as it makes its way medial to the ureter and goes to the posterior side of the urinary bladder. So let's take a closer look at the same structure right over here on this side. We can see that as the ductus deferens goes to the posterior side of the urinary bladder, it expands, and this expanded part of the ductus deferens is referred to as the ampulla. Now we can see it's going right by this gland which has been opened up. And this gland, which you can see here and also on this side, is the seminal vesicle. And right over here, the ducts of the ductus deferens and the seminal vesicle are going to fuse as they go through the prostate gland. Over here, you can see the urethra going through the wall of the bladder. And right over here is the prostate gland. So this part of the urethra is going right through the prostate gland. So it is called the prostatic urethra. And you can see right over here, there is another duct. Let's take a closer look at it. It's numbered 19. And this duct is the ejaculatory duct. It represents the fusion of the ductus deferens and the duct of the seminal vesicle. So again, this ejaculatory duct is found within the prostate gland. Now, as you continue to follow the urethra, it goes through the urogenital membrane, and you can see it going through right over here. And this part, a very th small part of the urethra going through this membrane, is the membranous part of the urethra. Then as it enters the corpus spongiosum of the penis, it becomes the spongy urethra, also known as the penile urethra. Now notice that right over here, there is a small gland. It's numbered, it looks like a 27. And this small gland is going to open up into the urethra. Notice that it is found right over here within the urogenital membrane. And this is the bulbo-urethral gland.